Good afternoon, Shana Lu. Good afternoon, ma'am. Okay, Shana Lu, can you tell me about yourself? My name is Shana Lu Habilio, 26 years of age, a single mother of two. Single mother? How many kids? Two, ma'am. Okay. Um, Shana Lu, I have a few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Why do you want to work as a maid? Because of its high salary. Why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? Because it was near in the Philippines. How are you qualified for this job? Because I am trustworthy, hardworking person, and I have also patience for, especially for kids. May I know what your educational level is? High school graduate. What was your recent working experience? Household helper in Kuwait. Have you worked abroad before? Yes, ma'am. Do you have experience of taking care of babies? Yes, ma'am. How about elderly? No, ma'am. Whose babies are you taking care of? My own children and my employer's children. Okay. Do you have any other special skills? Singing, ma'am, baby song. You mean singing um, baby song. nursery song? Nursery song. Nursery song. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, ma'am. Currently, are you still working now? No, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? No, ma'am, but I'm willing to learn. Okay. Do you know how to cook Filipino food? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Is it only Filipino food? Yes, ma'am. Okay. But I'm willing to learn. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. From all the house chores that I mentioned to you, like washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking, which do you like most? Kitchen, bathroom, sala, and um, bedroom. You mean you like most is cleaning? Cleaning, ma'am. Okay. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, okay, who will take care of your kids? My own mother. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. Yes, ma'am. You are only allowed to use handphone after um, going after working hours and when going to bed. Yes, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing of using your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you are not allowed to hold it anymore. Yes, ma'am. Instead, your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You only allowed to bring normal phone and you are not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed for the terms and condition? Yes, ma'am. Are you agree to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understands? Two years uh, contract. Can you describe for me your attitude? I have a lot of patience, especially for baby, a hardworking and trustworthy person. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? Ma'am? How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? I will finish my two years contract. Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, breast cancer, or any other illness? 
No, ma'am. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergies, or physical defect? No, ma'am. Have you suffered from any serious illness? No, ma'am. Do you smoke? No, ma'am. Have you undergone any operation before? No, ma'am. Are you medically fit or are you fit to work? Yes, ma'am. Are you in any medication right now? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Are you prepared to work for the employer of different races? Yes, ma'am. Are you prepared to eat the type of food taken or given by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? No, ma'am. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any family members working in abroad right now? No, ma'am. Okay, Shenalu, we have finished our question section. Let's proceed for case study. I have a case study for you, Shenalu, and I want you to answer me truthfully. Upon arrival in Malaysia, within six months only, if ever one of your family members passed away, what will you do? I should need to finish my contract with outside my employer. Okay, one of your family members passed away. What help would you extend to them? I'll send money for them. Okay. If in case your employer is watching you right now, what do you want to tell them? Hi, ma'am. Good morning. My name is Shara de Mabilios, 26 years of age, a mother of two. Please choose me because I am a hardworking, trustworthy, and an honest person. Again, tell us about yourself. My name is Shana A. Habilio, 26 years of age, a single mother of two. I am a hardworking person, trustworthy, and honest. And why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? To help my family and to support them. Okay, thank you very much, Shana Lu. We will update to your agency if there is any selection made by the employer. Thank you, ma'am.